What graphics like this? First you want to do is click on the link that's in the description, it should take you to this page right here. It should automatically download, if not, just click here, download manual. Now you want to run this installer. Next you want to click on another link that's in the description, it should pull you up to this tab right here. Now you want to scroll down, click Vloxade V point, whatever the version is, .exe, and run that installer also. Now you want to go to, to your windows search bar and search blocks track menu. You want to click open. Now you want to click fast flags, scroll down, click prefer lighting, switch that to phase three and click save. You want to open up the other link that's in the description and you want to click download. Afterwards, you want to open up that file. It is a .zip file, so you might have to extract the folder. Afterwards, you want to click on the application that's inside of the folder. Now, you want to click install. After you install, you want to open up the installer once again, click settings, and import the, the Google Drive file that I have in the description also. And also, make sure you open up NVIDIA GeForce Experience and make sure you have in-game overlay on. Now, open up Roblox. Alright, so as you can see, your graphics should be looking something like this. So the first thing you want to do is you can you can choose filter one. Filter one already has a preset, but I'm gonna add, show you guys what thing I usually do. So as you can see here, I have brightness contrast, and what that basically does, it just lights it up. It just lights it up in a different way. It lights it up. You know, you can keep it as regular like this. You don't really need to change it. But I do have brightness up on the preset. First me, I just have a whole bunch of them in. Installed. The blocks P4, you can do ultra or high. Personally, I have mine on high, and as you can see here, it is already transforming the graphics a lot. But as you can see, the color grading is pretty much off. So the second thing you want to do is go to scroll down and go to color. As you see, I already have a color correction on. Just copy these settings here, Vibrant 64.8, tint color. You know, you can put that down all the way up. Personally, I don't really see a difference with, but yeah, I usually do that to make it so the colors are normal. As you can see, this has already been transforming, and then I usually add a little bit of bloom. I like adding bloom so when you look at light and stuff, it actually kind of like reflects it over. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys like this style. Um, and yeah, enjoy your graphics.